All right, my visual reference heading northbound again. I'll use the US-1 heading up the west bank of the river. All right, double check my power setting there for 90 knots. Got my picture set about three fingers beneath the glare shield to so that base of the cloud layer. We'll do a power on stall. We'll do a short field takeoff configuration first. All right, so here we go. 3,000 feet looking straight ahead using just a touch of left rudder to hold myself steady. Power goes to 15, pitching for level, so we're adding some back pressure, confirming the white arc smoothly. We're going to set our flap to 25. Then power goes all the way to idle. Using left rudder as needed as we go, trimming it out, helping myself stay at 3,000. Here comes rotation speed. Switching to the right rudder. That's all right with the horn. And we're going to say, here's VY. We're going to go past it. A couple of fingers on the glare shield. So we can see the angle out the side there, using right rudder to help us go straight. We're going to hold this pitch attitude as we maintain our climb. So as we slow down, we get the horn. As usual, here comes the buffeting right here. So I'm going to go ahead and recover at the buffet, smoothly lowering the nose to the VY picture. So that's glare shield just about two fingers over the horizon. Right about here. We're going to confirm a positive rate of climb. Flaps go to 10 degrees. Adding back pressure to hold the picture. Alright, accelerating through VX, positive rate of climb again, and flaps go to zero. Alright, hold your VY pitch attitude, and we're going to give a climb, just demonstrate a climb 100 feet there, so that we've climbed away from the runway and into safety. And we can recover, pitching for level, and again now we'll do a poorly performed one, along the same lines, poor rudder usage and maintaining of the heading control. Alright, cool trim back for level here. All right, we got our heading, like I said, up the uh, west bank of the river. Here we go. All right, so part 15, and uh, we're not gonna set back pressure, so the nose will start to pitch down as usual. All right, we're gonna set flaps abruptly to 25, nose balloons, and then we correct then for level as the nose balloons, All right? Uh, now, failure to add back pressure here is gonna result in the aircraft descending, right? And we will slow down very slowly. So it takes a while to get to rotation speed because you're not really holding your altitude as you should be, right? We've sunk below the runway 100 feet now. So now in an effort to slow down, pitch way up. And here we go, we're gonna slam in that power, no right rudder. And then we're gonna correct using right aileron instead. As you can see, the ball goes way out to the side. Again, a pretty excessive picture. All right, here comes the buffet. Now we'll recover here. Again, don't know where VY picture is little too far down to unstall and then of course at some point we go up to here not using the rudder as we should positive rate flap right not controlling our pitch attitude as we lose the lift as we take out the flap the nose drops down and then we have to drag it back up to VY here again to continue our climb